Hey TLTers, how you guys doing? This is Alex with the Linux Tube. Today we're going to take a look at Linux Mint 21, the Cinnamon Edition. And here it is. Here is Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition. You can find it at uh, www.linuxmint.com. Uh, Linux Mint 21 is a long-term support release, which will be supported until 2027. So this is definitely the LTS. It is based off of Debian. Uh, it comes with the updated software and brings refinements uh, and many new features to make your desktop experience more comfortable. This one is codenamed Vanessa. The changes that have happened are Bluetooth. They've improved Bluetooth. They went from Blueberry to Blue Man. Also, uh, thumbnailers have been implemented for the app images, EPUB, MP3, RAW, and all that good stuff. Sticky notes have been uh, worked on as well and improved. Process monitor now is in your tray icon. Uh, automated tasks that uh, are going to keep your uh, computer safe and running in performance while it's working on it. A little process monitor will, will be in the tray icon as well. X apps improvements. Um, Cinnamon 5.4 was uh, rebased. Uh, Mutter was rebased to make Cinnamon 5.4. So they went, I guess, from Muffin to Mutter. So there's that. Um, the window manager now uh, accommodates the new window manager with display settings. Uh, we're backported from GNOME Control Center into Cinnamon Control Center. The display configuration was pre previously handled by uh, CSD X Render, uh, and it was was moved into Muffin. So they, they worked on the display the display manager, also printing and scanning improvements. And other ones that were notable were in software source, the repository list, the PPA list, and the key list support multiple selections. This allows several items to be removed at a time. Uninstalling an application from the main menu, right click and install now triggers the evaluation of the application's dependencies. So that if there are dependencies that it's gonna be removing that will break another program, it will stop it and it will not let you do it again. Also artwork, artwork improvement, um, the Linux Mint 21 features a superb collection of backgrounds from all of these authors right here uh, or sorry all of these creators right here uh and that's it pretty much so in a nutshell that's it so let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick so this is it once you uh, install it into your virtual manager and you boot into it uh it's going to want to do updates uh, as you can see down here in the right hand corner in the system tray it shows 45 updates are available um i did not do them because once again this is just a simple demonstration video but of course i suggest that once you install it do that right away this is what you're greeted with the the welcome menu here uh, welcome to linux mint welcome to your new operating system this welcome screen will guide you through the first steps show you how to find help to where and where to to get more information about linux mint so the first steps let's click on that this is where you can pick desktop colors. You could also put on the nighttime lighting in dark mode, switch to dark mode. As, sorry, not nighttime lighting, but switch to dark mode. My bad. Uh, in some of them, that's the uh, blue light toggle to protection, whatever it is. So this is what you're greeted with right here. Uh, this is where you can pick your desktop colors, uh, your highlight colors from the mint green to blue to the other blue to the teal, whatever you want. So we're just gonna stick with the green because that's what they want. Um, also, you can do your panel layout which is the traditional or the modern way. I'm gonna click modern, looks good. I like it, uh, I like it very much. Uh, also, you can do you can do system snapshots with time shift is installed, so you can do that. Also, driver manager, if you need to do any uh, proprietary drivers for NVIDIA graphics, this is where you're at, or, you know, NIC cards or whatever. This will do that. And also, system settings, software manager, you can set up a firewall, etc. Documentation is going to give you just that, documentation, the Linux Mint documentation, where you can go to their forum. I think it takes you to the webpage, to their forums and their documentations. Uh, also, it'll tell you about new features and release notes. Help. If you need help, this will take you to the forums or IRC chat. And contribute is always nice. Donate. Always donate. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that. And now this is what our desktop looks like. You have the icon for your computer over here and your home directory. Uh, so you're com when you click on, on the computer, it's going to take you to just that, your hard drives that are installed. And uh, the uh, I believe this is the Nautilus or files. Nemo. Sorry, Nemo. My bad. Nautilus is in... Uh, in uh, uh, GNOME, this Nemo is in Cinnamon. But at any instance, uh, this is Nemo. This is uh, their file manager. Uh, and home takes you straight to your home directory. Uh, whereas my computer takes you to the virtual hard disks and your CD-ROM if you have one installed to access there. This one actually takes you into your home directory. In the bottom left-hand side, you have your pinned startup apps or apps to, that, that, that start right away. And then also you have your application launcher. 
And then on your right hand side of this bottom bar, you have your system time and date. Also, you have your system tray, which in your system tray has got your clipboard, your update manager, and also your internet connectivity and a volume icon for sound. So let's go ahead and open the uh, application launcher. The application launcher is just simply like your standard everyday application launcher in which it holds all the applications that you want. Uh, they're categorized and if you click on a category then you can see all the applications that are in that category. So for accessories you're going to have accessory type applications like calculator, file renamer, files, image viewer, etc, etc. In graphics, of course, it's going to be graphic stuff like document, uh, document scanners, you know, like GNU or, or, or GIMP, uh, PIX, which is a, a image viewer, and drawing, which is kind of like a, a drawing tablet or paint. I'm not sure which one. Uh, Internet's going to have you know, all your internet function stuff like transmission and Firefox. Office is literally going to have where you're going to find your calendar, your, you know, office software, your office software. Uh, sound and video is literally that, sound and video, anything that has to do with sound and video, such as your your uh, MP3 player, which is going to be the rhythm box here, Hypnotics, which is an IP streaming and video player, and Celluloid is a video player that is uh, similar to MPV or based off of MPV. Administration is administrative tools such as software manager, software sources, uh, your uh, driver manager, backup tool, system monitor, all that good stuff. Uh, preferences is literally that where you can set preferences for all different kinds of stuff. Add, uh, you know, accessibility uh, options as well as account details, advanced network configurations, applets, backgrounds, all that good stuff. Places is literally that. It is uh, a shortcut to the files that are in your home folder and recent files are the ones that you have recently opened. So let's go to preferences really quick and let's check backgrounds. And this is going to be where you can search, change the backgrounds on your desktop. Linux Mint or Vanessa. If you go to Vanessa, this is the artwork that they were talking about that is new. Um, not just the standard Linux Mint ones. So uh, you have Vanessa, which is very nice. I like this frozen one. Let's try that one. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm going to go. I'm just going to keep that one right off the box. Right. That's I like that. I like that a lot. So that's a good thing, too. When you have a dark themed uh, operating system, you want to have like a light background. It adds great contrast. So once again, these are your pin, which is the same ones that are right here. Um, minus the add or remove software. This is the show the desktop. That's your Firefox browser, which is going to uh, open up Firefox. This is your terminal, which if you look at it, we are using GNOME terminal in here. So there's that. And, and then this is files. This is literally a shortcut again to your home directory, which you have the home file folder on your desktop. I mean, you can get to your files and directories all over the place with this thing. If you right click on the desktop, it gives you a drop down menu, which will give you the create a new folder, create a new document, add desklets, change desktop background, etc., etc., etc. Let's go to the add or remove software. Here's the add or remove software center. Right now, because I just installed it, it's going to uh, download all of the thumbnails for the software center and the description for the different software packages that you can download and install. This is going to take a minute, so I'll just go ahead and pause. And there you have it. It finished downloading and installing it all. So, uh, yes, hey, you can get Steam on here. You can get Steam on any Linux distribution out there, and you can game on this. Uh, you can game on all Linux distributions. Some of them are set up for gaming by adding extra packages that are already baked right in. This one, you have to download all of it. This is just a generic transition from another operating system type Linux distribution. Uh, so all these are, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they're, they're, some of them are, no, they're not Snap. These are from the Debian repository. That's right. Um, Ubuntu is Snap base oriented. Some of these, uh, you can also get Snaps on here as well, but you would have to download Snapped and install it. Uh, but at any instance, these are your uh, where you would uh, install things. So let's just go ahead and say I want to install um, for games. We'll click up here in the search. We'll do Steam. So here is Steam. Up here, we'll click on it. We're going to click Install. Now it's installing Steam. We're going to hit Continue. We're going to give our super strong root password because whenever you're installing applications, you are doing it with a sudo privilege. And now it's installing. I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And when it's done, I'll resume again. And there you have it. It finished downloading. It took about two, you know, five minutes to download and install. Uh, if you noticed, it went from installing here to launch or remove. So, and that's 
how easy it is to install software on here. And that, my friends, is Linux Mint 21, a nice short uh, review of it for you, uh, uh, the Vanessa Cinnamon Edition. Let me know what you thought about this video in the uh, comments down below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Visit us on all our uh, platforms. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. Also at Patreon.com is The Linux Tube. And also visit us at TheLinuxTube.shop, where you can buy all your Linux Tube gear. All right? Thank you so much. You guys have a great day and keep Linuxing.